guys welcome back to another daily pick a card or daily tarot card um these are your cards for tuesday january 14th 2020 i'm gonna pull from the healing angel cards uh, i did a four and a half uh live reading on instagram thank you to all that joined me uh jj constellations actually turned me on to this um healing angel cards and with a lot of the people that i read the energy was very heavy. So I, I, I see that it doesn't translate onto camera, but I lit a bunch of candles to um, light up, put shine, put shine some white light into all of our lives to um, basically set this reading on fire, make some fiery energy in here. I unfortunately didn't get a chance to um, watch Astrology Answers IG um, messages for the next couple of days. So um, I'll uh, try and get on that and see what the heavens have in store for us this week and, you know, what's going on in the sky. Because, you know, the energy, I feel, to, I feel um, passionate. I feel on fire. So I'm going to pull from the Guardian Angels Tarot deck. I've seen, I believe it's JJ I've seen use this, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. And a couple of people that I follow as well that have used this. So the first card we have is the Nine of Abundance. Nine of Abundance. So I'm trying to keep this in the frame while I read. Life is wonderful. Your hard work and dedication to your dreams will provide you with great peace and contentment. Take time to enjoy quiet moments of reflection and leisure. Feel free to buy yourself small luxury, luxur luxurious gifts. You've earned the financial security and independence you now enjoy. So I know a lot of us, um, some people that I actually, clients of mine, are actually, um, you know, quite busy right now because they like, I spent so much money during the holiday season and there's overtime available. So I really want to, you know... Um, try and overcome, you know, th that financial strength. So good on you for taking that on yourself. Another nine, nine of emotions, of emotion. This is a magical time in your life when wishes are granted and dreams come true. It may seem that good luck is following you, but actually these happy times are just rewards for being a loving and wonderful person. Your angels are asking you to enjoy your life and have more fun. And you know what? That is so true. This resonates with me today. I was having such a hard go at it before I knew the heavens. Before I knew Cancer and, and Capricorn were at war with each other. Um, December 31st time to around, I would say like the 7th of January. And um, I, was, I, I was in battle with myself emotionally and I'm like, we were all sick. You guys know this. I was, I'm was. i still battling the virus. I'm trying to get the, rest, the last of it out of me. And I was basically burnt out. And all I could hear was that cancer voice in my head saying, you know, the house is atrocious. You know, get up and, you know, clean the house. And being really harsh with myself. Where the Capricorn energy was like, you know what? You're sick. Take it easy with yourself. It will get done. So, you know, when you don't know astrology that's why i highly recommend everyone to follow astrology answers follow deb silverman she offers classes i actually want to uh partake in one of those and i'm not getting paid in any way for them it's just someone i resonate with you follow who resonates with you but i highly recommend this because if you're someone like me that you you battle your your shadow self and your light self battle like i was with when i was uh sick and taking care of my kids it's like when Deb Silverman sat there and said, don't worry, it's cancer and Capricorn fighting in the heavens and it's influencing our emotions. I was like, I'm not crazy. Thank God that someone like Deb Silverman is on this earth that could sit there and sh sh shed some light on this situation. That's why I lit a bunch of candles for this reading because I'm like, I'm going to, I'm going to light a bunch of white light and send it out to all the people that follow me. So if they are, you know, that a lot of you that I read for in that four and a half reading, four and a half hours reading on um, Instagram on Saturday, 
you know, you're a lot of us are battling the same thing. And I, I, I felt it. And I was just like, you know what? Let me shine some white light to all of us. Not just for me, for all of us. I, I'm shining this light on, on your life that things are improving. A lot of us have been dealing with some battles. This whole eclipse energy, it's shadow energy. So when the shadow, the eclipse energy is out there, the shadow self gets stronger and the light self gets dim. And we have to battle through that. Five of abundance. There is time when everyone needs a hand. Your angels want you to know that you are, you needn't go through your current challenges alone. Accept the help of those around you. The situation you're experiencing is temporary. This may not be the right time to become self-employed. Be patient. So this is a good sign that, okay, you want to be self-employed. I'm one of those people. I want to be a full-time medium. That's a big sign from Spirit saying, accept help from those around you. And I got to keep my other job. It's not time for me to go independent. And I know that. I know that in my heart of hearts. Like, I knew my intuition told me that. I, I Like, logic tells me, you know, you don't uh, make enough on paid readings to do this full time. I understand that. I totally get that. And I think that's what a lot of people don't understand when um, you go to a healer, that that's not their only job. Some of us are parents. I'm a parent. I'm a single mom. Um you know, I work other jobs besides this. So it's like, you know, um, when we do lives and people are being harsh with us, it's kind of like a slap in the face because it's like, you know, we're giving of our time and, you know, sometimes we get tips, sometimes we don't, but you know, those tips and those paid readings really help us out because we're able to give more of ourselves to our audience. So, you know, I'm not saying that to be shady or read people or anything like that. I'm just saying like, you know, besides, you know, I took four and a half hours out on Sunday to do, to heal people. And I'm, I'm so grateful because I was like on cloud a million after that. So it's like, you know, realize that we have work other jobs too. So, you know, take it, take it easy on your healers. Healer of abundance is our last card for two, uh, for Tuesday. Never doubt that you can make a difference. Your creative your creativity and ability to uh, to be innovative and make your uh, des your des oh sorry destined to succeed. It might be time to expand your career. Don't forget to leave time for family. That's exactly what I was talking about. That we're taking time away from our families. It's like with the five of abundance here. So it's like take make time for family. This situation involves a person, possibly you, who's down to earth. With a gift for, de for design or decorating. He or she is open-minded and nurturing. That's what I was saying. I wasn't saying. I'm not saying that to read people or be like, you know, we expect to get tipped. Because, you know, but we do put it out there. If you are if you have, you know, a dollar, five dollars, and you're able to tip us, if you know, for giving you uh, a mini reading on the lives, then help those, help your, help your healers out. It's greatly appreciated. It goes a long way. You know, we're able to buy new decks and, and lighting and um, better internet. So we are, our readings are um, come out faster. We're able to upload more. Because that's what healers do. They're very giving. Positive outcome. So this is from the healing, sorry, healing angel cards, I believe they're called. Yep. Healing angel cards. So positive outcome. The sun is about to burst through the clouds and you will soon see things in a different light. Something that previously seemed hopeless will soon be filled with nothing but hope. These were just honestly, these are like the cherry on top in the readings this weekend. Honest to God. I really, really enjoy these cards. I'm, that's why I encourage a lot of you that are, um, are, are dabbling that want to become full-time healers as well. I encourage you to follow other healers and watch their YouTube videos um, <coughs> and their lives, excuse me, and see what cards resonate with you. Because I 99.9 .9 of the cards that resonate with me, are, honest to God, they've just taught me so much. 
you know, um, I saw the Dragon Oracle deck used by one individual. I think it's uh, Lightworks uh, 2332. And, oh, it's so mind-blowing. Truth. This is our next card. The best way through the Kurt situation is just to speak your truth. Contrary to what you may think, no one will be hurt if you express exactly how you feel. So if you feel, you know, like with me, people are always asking to borrow money and they never pay it back. And it's like, you know what? My si I'm not trying to be shady, but my situation is more dire than yours. You should not be asking me for money. You know, and that's what 2020 is all about. B boundaries. We can no longer, you know, we, we are, we're all struggling. Archangel Metatron. I am the link between heaven and earth, between your humanity and your divinity. I am here to help you heal the conflict that exists between your heart and your mind. So this is very much what I was feeling um, with Cancer and Capricorn battling in the heavens. Fill me in your heart and thoughts. Through oneness, there is love. So when you have your shadow, I say shadow self. Those are the negative thoughts that we hear in our mind. And, and you know, sometimes we go down that rabbit hole, as I call it. And... It's like, call upon Archangel Manitron. He is actually the light or the guardian of the sun in the heavens. So we, the earth has its own sun, but heaven has its own sun. So this is the sun beyond the sun. And you can call upon Manitron to blast through those shadow thoughts and help you through that time. I really, I'm really enjoying this angel spread here. Because a lot of people are, are feeling dire. Nothing will come of this situation. So some of you are going through breakups. Some of you are going through shakeups. Some of you are doubting yourselves. And they're saying these doubts, they're, they're just nothing. They're just shadow thoughts. This breakup had to happen to, to, to elevate you. I love what I um, the metaphor that I used with one person that I read for. That she was in a, uh, uh, she was like a plant. And she was in this pot. And you know if you have a plant and a, a, a pot that no longer allows the roots to expand, that that plant won't grow anymore. So it needs a bigger pot to expand its roots. So I said take this breakup as that, you know, she lost herself, who she was in this relationship. And I'm saying take this breakup as that you are now being placed in a bigger pot with beautiful fertile soil. And now you can find yourself again. All those pieces you lost, lost to yourself that you love, you can refine those things. And you can expand your roots and become the person you always were destined to become. So, you know, don't take it as a negative. Just, you know, learn what you have from this situation. Move forward and be thankful that, you know, you stood up for yourself. And you're able to move forward into the light as a, the new improved you. A new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. I, I felt this. I was doing my 2020 um, vision board and they kept saying, spirit kept saying, love, love, love. I'm like, no, <laughs> I don't want love. Confidence is your key to success. New moon and Leo. I'm going to pull one more from the moonology. <coughs> your dreams need a practical plan, full moon and Taurus. So one thing that um, actually came out a lot was in the live was that we need some, some tweaking in our plan. Like myself, I want to be a full-time medium, a full-time healer. So they're like, you need some tweaking in your plan. And I'm like, honestly, I was thinking about that tonight, contemplating about that. I'm like, I've done everything I can in this situation. So I don't know what other tweaking I can do. So I'm, you know... I'm going to ask spirit to show, like, you know, come to me and help me out and, figure, and let me figure out, like, what, what, what tweaking can I do? Like, am I, I'm, I'm missing something, I think. So sensitivity. You are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honor yourself and your feelings. I so feel this when I was doing the lives. I could feel certain people were getting upset because they were like, oh, I've been on for hours. And I'm like, I understand. And I'm like, I showed them the list of people. I write down everyone's name as they come on. 
And we had a glitch with Instagram where the names weren't loading. So I said, okay, anyone just comment. Whoever commented, I just read for. And uh, it's like, you know, we got to be patient. One thing, you know, um, if just ask, like, what number am I? And I can tell you what number you are. And if you're, like, uh, further down the list, you can go off. Because a lot of you know I'm usually on until I'm done reading everyone. So some people will, you know, dip in and out. You know, uh, who's next? You know, who's going on? And if I miss you and you come back on, I will read for you. But, you know, like when I get to the four hour mark, I'm starting to get tired. I can really feel that I'm getting drained. So it's just like, just, you know, come in and out and see what number you're at if you don't want to watch the whole thing. I totally understand that. But I will not read for you if you're not there. Like, I'm just going to be truthful. Brilliant idea. Just speaking about ideas. Yes. Your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea to fruition. I have no idea what they're talking about. Or maybe I do. You know what to do. So Archangel Uriel is shining light on, on your, your um, positive thoughts. Trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. And one last card. Okay, maybe two. Gentleness. Be very gentle with yourself at this time. Surround your, yourself with gentle people, situations, and environments. So like I said, when when the, the heavens were battling with each other, with myself, it's like you got to be gentle with yourself. you got to be kind to yourself. You've done everything you can in this situation. You're taking care of your kids. Now you're sick. You know, let the house go. Just take care of your guys' self. And once you're better, you can take care of the house. Patience. i got to write this down on my vision board. Your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still, they need nurturing and patience. And it's hard to have patience because, like, you know, we don't see our um, our dreams coming to fruition. We don't see them blooming. So it's like we get frustrated and it's like we're hitting our head against the wall. So that's where we have to call for more patience. You know, we want things to happen quick because we live in the age of the internet where everything's quick, quick, quick. Come on, come on, come on. I want it now. I'm the same way. Don't, I, this is not a read, but it's just like, you know, we got to be, be calm and realize like, you know, one year to us is like a second in the heavens. So we just got to keep calm, keep uh, cool headed and, you know, what do they say? Calmer heads will prevail. So, you know, that's something I should say to myself. So that's one thing I want to practice more in 2020 is patience. So I hope you enjoyed this reading, guys. These are your cards for Tuesday, January 14th, 2020. I hope you enjoyed this uh, daily tarot card. Please come back tomorrow for another daily tarot card. We'll see you soon. Bye.